This woman was riding in an Uber when the camera captured her fingers in the driver's tip jar. When a group of friends in New York City ordered an Uber in the summer of 2017, their driver knew the pickup address and the destination. But the man had no idea about the shameful episode that would unfold during the journey between the two places. Little did he know that while he had his eyes on the road, one of his passengers had their eyes on what was rightfully his. But the would-be criminal in question was equally oblivious to another fact, she was being filmed. So when the woman acted on her greed, a camera caught the whole thing. On August 12, 2017, Muhammad H. Bua Ian, a driver with the online transportation service Uber, picked up a fare in the Crown Heights neighborhood of Brooklyn, New York. His passengers that Saturday night were two young women and a fresh-faced man. All three had glammed themselves up before heading out elsewhere in New York City to make the most of their weekend. In typical teen-like behavior, the three friends had spent the hours leading up to their trip out having fun and taking selfies. One of the females had even posed for a picture in her underwear which she then posted on her Instagram account. But if that was a brazen act, it was nothing to what she would get up to later. Nevertheless, before the trio left to go out, the woman had changed into something a little more appropriate for a public showing. When they entered the cab, the threesome squeezed onto the back seat of the car. They were seemingly unaware that they were being filmed by a dash cam mounted on the rearview mirror. The camera showed the trio to be fairly subdued during their ride, and they chatted amiably amongst themselves. Bua Ian was also shown, quietly driving the car with his eyes on the road ahead. However, the passenger in the middle of the back seat, the same young woman who had earlier posted the scantily clad selfie, began to appear preoccupied. As the car drove along, the dark-haired teen started eyeing up a clear plexiglass box placed between the front passenger seat and Bua Ian. The box contained some banknotes, it served as Bua Ian's tip jar. For a few moments, the middle seat passenger looked between the money in the box and the rearview mirror. Presumably she was checking to see if the driver was watching her. However, Bua Ian had other things on his mind, they had reached the destination and he brought the car to a halt. The backseat passengers left the Uber right via their respective doors, but the woman in the middle hesitated. And then it happened, instead of simply exiting the vehicle, the passenger did something unthinkable. She leaned forward and grabbed Bua Ian's hard-earned money from the plexiglass box. With the notes firmly in her grasp, the young woman darted out through the open passenger door after her friends. At first, Bua Ian is completely unaware of the robbery that has just occurred in his mobile workplace. However, the driver must have sensed that something was not right, and glanced down at his now empty tips container. Realizing that his gratuities have been ripped off by one of the threesome, Bua Ian looked over his shoulder and tooted his horn. However, by that point, the offender had made good her escape and was nowhere to be seen. Uber users can tip their driver via the app, but many prefer to do it the old-fashioned way with actual money. Whichever, it is fair to say that no one is making vast riches as an Uber driver and so any gratuity is welcome. Later, Bua Ian reported the theft of his hard-earned tips to his employers at Uber. In turn, they contacted the user who had booked the service but the woman flat out denied the accusation. Consequently, Uber management advised Bua Ian to contact the police if he wanted to take the issue further. However, Bua Ian is a busy man, and was not sure that he could afford the time to get New York's finest involved. Ultimately, the driver decided against reporting the offending passenger to the cops. But that did not mean it wasn't into the matter and the sneak thief had got away scot-free. And that is because very soon after, some public-minded citizen uploaded the dash cam footage of the robbery onto YouTube. And while Bua Ian was not minded to press charges, YouTube users could watch the shameful episode for themselves. Subsequently the woman was tried and convicted in the court of internet opinion, and the verdict was harsh. The shocking footage soon clocked up 1.5 million views, and people didn't hold back in their condemnation of the culprit. As the YouTube clip was shared and commented on, viewers began to link the gratuity grabber with an NY Instagram and Twitter user. The girl in question was eventually outed as 18-year-old Gabrielle Canels from Long Island in November 2017. 
the young woman is a wannabe model and has used social media to build her profile online. Unfortunately, however, Candles was to learn that online exposure is a double-edged sword, thanks to her antics in that Uber ride. Uchmendel strangers flocked to Candles' social media pages, not to bask in her physical beauty but to berate her for ripping off Bua Ian's tips. Such an ugly, disgusting human being, read one particularly vehement comment left on Candles' Instagram profile. It continued, nice job turning off the captions so you'd stop getting hate. It appeared as if Candles had taken steps to try and stem the flow of outrage censure. Alas, such efforts on the young woman's behalf were to little avail. The box troll stole the tips from the Uber driver, wrote another angry social media user on Candles' feed. Meanwhile, someone else commented, honestly, she probably just wanted her 15 minutes of fame, and she will be an ugly person for the rest of her life. In the end, the Candles' controversy concerning the stolen tips grew so large that Uber was forced to take action. Consequently, the transport provider banned Candles from using its online services. What's been shown has no place on our app, and the writer's access to the app has been removed, an Uber spokesman revealed in a statement obtained by Fox News. With the online witch hunt against Candles showing no sign of letting up, the would-be model decided to speak out. Using Snapchat to defend herself over the incident, the young woman claimed mitigation over the small sum involved. Candles said that she had only taken $5 from Bua Ian's box of tips. Furthermore, she declared that she had since returned the sum to the Uber driver. Later in November, Candles also opened up to the TV news magazine show Inside Edition about the backlash she had faced after taking Bua Ian's gratuities. Speaking from inside her comfortable looking suburban home, the teen was contrite. She said that the whole experience had been toughest on her family. I'm embarrassed for them because I really did embarrass everyone I know, she admitted to the cameras. In addition, Canals went on to say that she could fully understand why members of the online community were so angry. I don't blame them, she told the Inside Edition team. I did something wrong, and I know I did something wrong. I accepted that and I apologized. apologized.